What's up, y'all? I'm back right quick. Shout out to the mob. Um, I literally just did the Raging Bull sneaker review. Um, we got the Red Tourors. Absolutely starting to love these now. These are dope. And the 3M pair, one of my top fives. Absolutely love these. Sleek pair. Um, boom. But I remember a guy on Cream, he wanted me to do a quick sneaker review for him. So I'm going to go ahead and knock it out right quick. I was literally just looking at the box. All my tens are lined up literally right in front of me. Um, so the box was just shouting at me. So these is what he wanted to see. Boom. We all know what these are. OVO tens that randomly, 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 randomly dropped September 12th. Um, I was on a little um, vacation with my girlfriend and... It was our anniversary, three-year anniversary, and only thing I wanted from her for our anniversary was these. So I wanted. Didn't want nothing else. But um, the odds of me getting them at that time was slim to none. So at that time, I was um, in the mix of doing a, um, a trade with a guy for a DS pair of DB9s. I had two pair at the time, and um, it was going to be a straight-up trade. OVO 10s for... DS DB nines. Trade didn't go through, you know. Cool. One sweating. Um, I found out that this guy, I was in Oak Brook at the time, and a guy who was who's who just left Warfield Mall had a pair and he was about to sell a pair and he he won eight hundred. I'm like, dang, um price, I, at that time I seen prices at like a thousand. So I'm like eight hundred, that's two hundred bucks lower. I'll go ahead and try to snag them. Literally while I was texting him, um Nike had Nike had um, just released them through the sneaker app, and I got that notification. I, I hurried up and jumped on it. I was, I was so surprised that they even released them on the sneakers app. So if you don't have a sneakers app, get it because it's way faster than just going on Nike.com. Um, wind up getting them for retail. Yes, got them for retail, two twenty five through the sneaker app. Extremely thirsty to get them. Wind up saving like six hundred bucks. Didn't have to sell my other pair of DB nines, which are gone because I wind up trading them for a pair of OVOs. So I had two pair of OVOs and wind up selling them to a guy in Puerto Rico. He really wanted them, um, so I sold them to him. But um, let's get to the OVOs right quick. Another thing, shout out to Drake, um, one of my favorite rap artists. Um, Nike receipt. Everything is legit here at Unbreakable Kicks. Believe that. Um, now, I do have one or two things to say about these. Number one would be people have been getting on my nerves just saying, like, why would you pay five, six hundred dollars for a pair of tens? They only appear at tens. And I instantly thought, why would you pay eleven hundred bucks for a pair of twos? twos is absolutely my least favorite only twos i got and my twos are right behind me i got ben twos db twos um the white black and red twos and the white and red twos four pair of twos og colorways bins and dbs now don't get me wrong i did have the just doms but i sold them um sold them for like 800 bucks one trying to get too much off of them <laughs> i kind of am looking for, looking to get another pair um, just to have them in my collection, I'm like ass catch them. I gotta have them all. I'm trying to pretty much get all high quality mics, but it, it was just killing me because people were like, "Why would you pay eight hundred dollars for a pair of tens?" But people was going crazy over the Just Don twos, and at that time, people didn't even like twos. People don't even really like twos. It was just the hype of the shoe. Now, like I said, I'm a big Drake fan, so I have to have these in the collection. Um, <clears throat> now these did release. Um, earlier this year at the OVO pop-up shop in California. Now, correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, they did have the white and a black pair. Personally, I like the black pair better. It's more of a, it's just a nicer shoe, nicer colorway. Um, and I have heard rumors of that the sample pair that came out earlier this year, and this pair is pretty much the same exact shoe. Not that much of a difference. Um, a lot of people was complaining about how they came with like the factory creasing, but like I said in my um, Raging Bull 5 video, if you wear your shoes, they're going to crease. Don't worry about it. Buy another pair. You know, that's simple. Um, but yeah, just a quick 360 of the shoe. 
every 10 looks the same, of course. Um, what's so special about these is that you got the stingray material that's on the, the lower midsole. You also have the stingray on the upper panel of, them, of the shoe, too. We got the gold 23, gold Air Jordan 23 right up here. These are dope. They remind me of the linen tins. Um, I did make a post on cream about right before these came out comparing the two. Now, I do have a pair of linen tins up there, and I will do a comparison because they're so similar. Personally, I like the linen tins better than the OVOs. Um, I just like the tan, the material in them, um, better shoe. Um, and I, I, another thing that I did see, um, I think it was on like Nice Kicks that they had a pair of OVOs and I believe the original version, you know, where Jordan has his stats and his highlights at the bottom, they were gold. So it actually popped out a lot more. Like you can't even see his highlights on these because it's, the, the sole is so translucent that you can't even see anything, but just the OVO and the jump man. Um, so OVO 10s, probably my favorite 10 just cause the collab with Drake. Um, I'm really hoping that they do drop the, um, the black pair of 10s. Um, they do have the 12s. <sighs> Man. The 12s are fire. Both pair. The white and black. And he did drop the 8s. The white and black 8s too. Those are also dope. Um, 10s are going to be my least favorite. If, if the 8s and the 12s come out, 10s would definitely <laughs> definitely be on the bottom of it. Um, those 12s are definitely fire. Seen a pair of 12s on eBay for like 9 grand. And it wasn't even in my size. So wasn't going to pay that much anyway. But, um, yeah, OVOs, white midsole, we got the sting gray going towards, like, the, the middle of the midsole, um, white, white leather upper, it, it is tumble leather, um, it looks more, to me, it looks more creased and wrinkled than anything, they tried, uh, I feel like with Drake's status, this should have been more of, like, a bin or a premium, um, conditioned shoe, I feel like it's just another 10. They just threw Drake's name on it and boom, you got a popular shoe. Go jump man. Um for the inside, the insole, you can even see uh this is my first time even like taking the the shoe trees and stuff out. You got the gold eagle jump man. I'm sorry, you got the gold eagle. The eagle's not a jump man. Um you got the gold eagle, Drake's signature. Um OVOs. It, it's a plain shoe pretty plain and simple like i said i, I love it um because it, it collabs with drake the tag is the tongue is regular um inspired you know by jordan you got the little colors and all that other good stuff that all the other 10 um tongue have um like i said nothing too much nothing too special i'll grab both hair out and my pair, they're not as creased as the other ones I've seen. I've seen some bad pair, some bad pairs. Like, I mean, it looks like people like ran ran a marathon in them, but man, aren't that bad. So shout out to Nike for at least sending me a decent pair. Boom, OVO tens. Um, please, I don't bid for a lot, but please drop the black ones, <laughs> the black uh, black OVO tens, the eights, and the twelves. Boom. This is another review from Unbreakable Kicks. Looking, I think I'm going to do the linen and OVO um, side by side. Just so y'all can see the difference between like a 2005 Air Jordan um, 10 to 10 years later of 2015. I think that's going to be next and maybe I'll do some bins. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do some more bins. I'll do bin... Ben twos. I do Ben twos next. So, thanks for looking. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the love. Um, shout out to y'all. Keep the comments rolling in. Let me know what y'all want to see. And let's make this happen. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be on Complex. You know, I want Buddy from Complex to come in my crib and, you know, he see my collection because I want to just leave off at this. Um, a lot, like, I, I peeped the DJ Khaled. Um, just, just, I still got my Toros out too, so I just put them in the camera too. Um, I seen DJ's Khaled um, collection, and honestly, he, he, he got heat. He does have heat. 
because of his name. You know, he got like his his own Air Jordan um, fours. He got some OVOs that he didn't show. He got the OVO tens. He got DBs. He got Air Mags. I believe he had Air Mags. He has all that stuff, but a lot of stuff I've seen he had was numerous um, numerous pairs of GR. So he had like three pair of Oreo 5s. Now with me, <coughs> excuse me, I have one pair of Oreo 5s. I don't like to have doubles and triples. I, I don't have any doubles and triples. I don't like to hoard my shoes. Um, so I got one of each. That's why I'm retired from selling. I got one of each. And, like, I looked at his wall. He had, like, three pair of Raptor 7s. Um, I'm just like, man, he, he got a lot of shoes, but he got a lot of multiples. Me, on the other hand, I got 166 pair of a different Jordan. Everyone is different. And he just had numerous multiples. So, man, I, I, I want, like, a complex to come in my crib. And I can show him, like, my top ten favorite shoes. And, you know, just... From from a Chicago guy, you know, blow a lot of people away. We're like, dang, this dude got he got heat. DJ Khaled on there, you know, talking about I call these don't play with me. I call these I changed a lot. I call these summertime. You know, he he just he 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 not legit, man. You know, he he just started this. I I've been doing this. You know, I've been doing this. I'm going to just show y'all. You know, I've been doing this. So, you know, that's my last little spill. Um, keep subscribing, like I said. Um, sorry for to go off on a little tangent, but, you know, I feel like I got... I know some people who got a better collection than me, but in Chicago, I feel like I got one of the top collections in Chicago. And I want to put Chicago on the map for sneakerheads. And I want to put myself on the map. So, you know, y'all continue to subscribe and show love and, and share my videos. And we can make it there. Um, unbreakable out.